Right, so it's a trace table example here. <clears throat> uh, can you see the screen? Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, Vimal is trying to uh, try different ways to design uh, the process of entering data into an array. So analyze the question well, uh, underline the important parts. He declares the variable uh, and uh, called array size, picks as a variable called array size and set it to three. Then he writes the following pseudocode, element equals one, while element is less than array size, which is three, right? Input uh, number element. Right, so number one, initially it will be number one. Uh, so if you think of the array like this, <clears throat> right? Now, since it's a pseudocode, we can start the index with one, right? Two, three. Uh, so element number one means this one. And then uh, you input the number. So that means you are inputting a number into this one, right? And then you go on incrementing the element. Right, so do a bit of analysis like that before you start. So following trace table uh, with the effect of entering these three numbers. Okay, so array size is three at the beginning. Element is one. So we have the array here, uh, the elements, right? And uh, so we come here, element is one. One is less than three, that is true. So you put true there. Now in the exam, of course, if you try to uh, you know, write like this, there you might run out of uh, space, but um, I think it's better to do it uh, with the pencil first so that we can check whether the space is enough, right? Mm, otherwise, you will have to add more rows there, right? Mm, so, if it is true, input number element. So, first number is 24. So, 24 goes. Uh, this is true then here we input so 24 goes right here to the first element and the element is incremented by one so it becomes two here right if these are not changing you can just leave it like this you can uh, just put a dash if you want right or you can rewrite the number if they are not changing uh, right so becomes two then goes back two is less than three which is uh, true again since they have written in different lines we'll try that true okay if it is true you read the next number and put it to the second uh, slot which is uh, 57 and uh, then here it becomes a uh, three so the element becomes a uh, three right and then it goes and checks whether three is less than three, true or false. Three is less than three, true or false. 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 So it will exit the uh, loop, right? So this becomes a uh, false here, right? False and exit the loop. So you can see uh, the last number is not added to the uh, array. Okay. So let me share the answer. Having power cuts, man. Uh, there appears to be an error in the above pseudo code. State the type of error. They want the type of error. So, what is the type of error? Type of error? Mm, don't choose. Not sure. Okay, what are the types of errors we have? We have the syntax errors, we have the logical errors, logical. and uh, yeah, logical errors and the runtime errors. Now. And uh, in Python, of course, we had uh, 
name errors as well like if you didn't use the correct uh, variable name uh, and if the variable wasn't uh, defined it was a name error in this case uh, i think the mask scheme is wrong mask scheme says syntax error it can't be syntax error right there's no syntax for you to code right so it has to be a logical error right because uh, our intended result is having all these three numbers in the in the array but only two are getting inserted so it has to be a logical error okay certainly it can't be a runtime error because the, we are not running this as the pseudo code it can't be a syntax error because this is uh, zero code i don't know why they have put syntax error right what do you think you agree or not uh, yes sir so in the paper you have put uh, wrong for logical errors i have put wrong for logical error yes sir that's the thing we have to the mark scheme says they are syntax error it can't be syntax error no because i, I was going through yes, the mark scheme you know, because of the time limitation right now next time when we meet uh, let me know then uh, yeah, i'm correct Mm. No, it can't be. Yes. Because of the time limitation, I was not going through the question. I was just looking at the answer in the box scheme. The error can be corrected by changing one line. Write the corrected line uh, of pseudocode. Well, uh, it's the condition, right, which uh, causes the problem. So while while element is less than no equal to array size. that line this whole line right vimal is not convinced that while loop was the best choice for this pseudo code instead he considers uh, using a repeat until loop rewrite the corrected pseudo code using the repeat until loop right did you try that uh, yes sir okay so let's see repeat until now repeat until what type of a loop is it repeat until what is the type of loop there are two types of loops now post condition and pre condition so what is repeat until is it post condition or pre condition post condition post condition yes correct because the condition is checked at the end uh, while loop for loop there are uh, pre condition loops right okay so whether it is repeat until or not uh, we have to start with the variable definition uh, you can see here element is one so element check your answer right is one when we when we meet in school uh, you bring the paper i will correct that okay. right then we so start uh, having physical uh, yeah uh, physical class of course uh, Tarusha, um, I'm trying to have it have one tomorrow or A two because we have the staff meeting. I will see whether I can uh, allocate a time for you guys as well, right? If yes. not, uh, when uh, what is your first exam? When is your first exam? Very first exam. So I think it's computer science sixth. Sixth of May. Yes, but that's uh, the first uh, unit, no? Uh, yes, unit sir. Unit so you don't have any other exams before that? No, sir. On May tenth or something, we have mechanics. Before that, nothing. Okay, right. I'll let you know. Eh? I'll let you know. Mm, yes. Maybe tomorrow even. Like I'll uh, check my time and uh, maybe like one and a half hours. But uh, basically, I want to uh, in the first class, first physical class, I want to. Practice you for writing pseudo words. Uh, then only I'm trying to look at uh, paper questions, right? Um, okay, so element is one. Um, then we have repeat. Don't forget to indent. Then uh, we have to read the number, right? Uh, input. Number element. Yeah, 
we do these uh, questions okay i will send you more papers um, right and then uh, we need to do the increment and then the until element right now the condition is going to be uh, different right because uh, in the while loop it is as long as as long as element is less than array size right now here we start with uh, one right and we keep on incrementing so one becomes two two becomes three and then uh, when do we stop when should we stop we start from one we go up to three when should we stop so it's less than or equal to. Uh, less than or equal to. Okay. So let's see. Uh, here we start with one. We read the first one becomes two, right? And uh, then uh, when it is two, we read the second one, right? When it is three, we should read the third one, right? When it is one, we read the first one here. Then it becomes two. Okay, just just forget about the condition here. Let's just loop this. When it is one, we read the first element. This uh, becomes two. Then we read the second element. Here it becomes three. And at that point, if we exit, it won't read the third element, right? So we should uh, read the third element, and then this will become four, right? Then only we should uh, exit. You understand? Yes. Sir. Right. So, so if, greater than three. Yeah. If it is uh, four, and if we are exiting at four, then the condition has to be element greater than greater than. Uh, you can say array size or even four, right? Since array size is set to three. Okay. Array size is already set to three, so array size right, array size is three uh, when element is greater than array size uh, it becomes four right now if you do a quick uh, dry run to see whether this is logically correct uh, element then uh, number then uh, element greater than array size right so element is one we read the first number mm, what was the first number okay 24 and uh, this is array uh, element is one array size is three this is uh, false right we go back now here we read here we read sorry right this is checked at the end so element is one we read the first number then we increase uh, the element to two and then only we check uh, this is false go back and read the second number which is uh, 57 right and here it increases to three right then it checks whether three is greater than uh, three uh, it is not Right, and then uh, we go and read the third number, which is 12. And then here it becomes four. Four is greater than uh, three, that is true, and it exits. Fine, it works. Okay. Understand? Yes. Sir. Right. Uh, okay, Tarusha, uh, you guys came late. No, that's the problem. I was uh, yes, waiting one hour. Mm, I have another class at 10. Right. So I will have another session, right? I'll be having quick sessions, quick online sessions and uh, physical sessions also. So make sure that you attend all these, right? Uh, even though okay. even though you might not really like the online, but can't help because of these problems right now, right? Um, so make sure that you get the best use. I will send you papers to the group. Uh, make sure that you do them and send. If you do papers and send it to me, I can uh, correct and give right these days i'm doing that for other students so make sure that you do it right okay 
now what you can do is uh, you can uh, attempt the third question i have shared the paper now so do the third question on your own uh, and send it to me then i can correct and give right before the next class okay sir. okay then see you okay thanks sir okay